Okay, so good evening. As part of our take a picture of the making of movies, we decided that we would do something in the spirit or in keeping with the Robert Rod Rodriguez and what he does. We're going to teach them how to cook. No, we're going to teach them how to make some of our tech. And we're doing this because we wish that somebody had done this kind of video when we were trying to figure out how to print circuit boards, how to actually make the tech that we needed. So for you in YouTube land, here we go. We had to spend money in college to learn this stuff. Yes, we did. Thank you, Doug Back. So we start off with chunks of a PCB blank board like this kind of rough and dirty looking. That sound in the background is Kyle using making them shiny. Using steel wool to make these things shiny and clean so that we can get the toner to stick. Take photo paper and this is the cheapest lamest photo paper that you can find. Gosh, I think the cheap stuff sticks better. It does stick better. This is photo paper. The design is printed in toner from a laser printer. You can use any graphics program that you choose, and I highly recommend making measurements for the spacing for LEDs or for circuits or for the pins on the chips, whatever you need beforehand. Otherwise, you will make many, many, many mistakes, and you just need to save yourself some time, and we can speak to that because we have already made those mistakes. I found isopropyl alcohol in a vaporizer bottle. I can take the bottle and go squirt, squirt, then polish off, and this is getting rid of all the copper filings and all the remaining dirt that the peon left there. So now that the copper is dry, we take our printed diagram here and line it up. Ironing with just a regular iron on a piece of thick metal works beautifully. I've tried it on towels, I've tried it on other surfaces. This works best. Take the iron, apply it to one corner of the paper, move your way across, and then slowly swivel and pivot and hold it here for this size of copper and iron, I'm thinking three minutes total is good enough for this to get the transfer right. Do not fill your iron with water and then try and iron a circuit board. You will end up with soggy photo paper and it will not work properly. If something's not going to transfer properly, it's going to be in the corner. So make sure you spend some time on the corners. Sitting and watching me rub a circuit board with an iron is boring, so stay tuned. We'll see you in a second. I've found that if you let the board cool down first before you quench it in water, the transfers are more successful. Once it's cool enough, you may quench it, and there's a bucket on the floor here. It works best with warm water, but being that we didn't feel like going inside, cool water is okay, and the hose water is sufficient. Kyle's just ruined the tripod. <clears throat> I told you that it wouldn't hold the weight for too long. It'll work. <clears throat> so once the paper is saturated with water and it's soft, you can peel that off. But again, that takes time. So we are going to continue with the next board and we will right. wipe back Drop the and uh, join you in a few moments. Okay, now you can reassemble your tripod. The peon is using an X-Acto knife and he is scraping out all of those hazy bits that are still on the circuit board. That it's especially important to get rid of all the hazy bits that are in the holes in the solder pads on your circuit board. Kyle, could you point to one of the holes? These ones? And if you could angle. There we go, point. Okay, those, if you do not, clean them out will be your bane when you go to quickly drill holes later on for your components. And when you're dealing with hundreds upon hundreds of these boards, all the little bits of time that you can save will be extremely important. And who drills the holes? <coughs> you. That's what I thought. You let me drill a few last time. I did let you drill a few last time. And how many drill bits did you go through while you were drilling those, what, 12, 15 boards? We are now at the etching stage. We have our circuit board. 
autofocus work. All right, I'm just going to hold it out here then. It is now all cleaned up and ready to go. I have this old Brita water filter container that will never see drinkable fluids in it again. And we are going to put the acid inside the Brita. Safety is key when working with harmful chemicals. We need safety for it. By the time it affects you, it'll be the future and they'll have a cure for it. That's what people said about diabetes. MG Chemicals is the company that distributes this and you can find MSDS sheets on their website if you are interested. There's also Wikipedia. Yes, there's also Wikipedia. Okay, the ferric chloride, when it is good, I'll pour it against the side here so you can see, is this lovely dark amber color. Brown, almost. When it is spent, it turns a dark green. It also stops etching the copper properly when it is a dark green. So, take the copper, submerge it in the acid. If the acid is warm, it works better. If you agitate it, it also works faster. Here we are with the final product. As you can see, all the extra copper is gone, and all we have left are the parts where the toner was that was acting as our resist. We would now take an X-Acto knife and scrape away at the solder pads, much like Kyle's doing right here. And now we have a fresh, clean surface to solder our components to. I do not remove the toner on the pathways themselves. I leave it there so that it acts as a protection against oxidization of the copper. You may also cover this with a regular acrylic. Or fancy expensive proper stuff. I hope you enjoyed our little cooking with Brad and Kyle. Keep in mind that we are not electrical engineers, so we may not have all the answers. All we can say is this method works very, very well. And if you know better ways, please tell us. Please. Uh, we will absolutely take suggestions. I hope you enjoyed. As part of the safety portion of our how-to video, I'd just like to point out that in that large Brita container is ferric chloride acid. And to show you how dedicated Kyle is to his own safety and the safety of others, he has his beer not three centimeters away from the ferric chloride acid. My beer! This is what it's like to work with this man. It's, it's a perspective thing. It's, a, it's actually many feet in front of the chloride acid ferric thing. Yeah, I know what he's buying it. Kyle made a mess. You should be doing this. It's your house. I don't care about the mess. I should just walk out this door and not clean it and leave it for you. Can I have my camera back so I can do that? Nope. Keep cleaning. Good enough? Keep going. Kyle doesn't like to use a garbage can when he's cleaning the paper off the circuit boards. So Kyle gets to clean up afterwards.